Gratitude is one of the most important and powerful tools that we can use to consciously create our life the way we actually want to live. Today, we will go deep into the concept of gratitude and we will look at the ancient teachings of Hinduism on gratitude to understand the significance of this concept. And through the three sections of this video, we will understand gratitude for what it is and at the end we will also look at a secret principle and a simple process that we can start doing from today to consciously create our life and to manifest the life that we actually want to live. The Advaita channel is about conscious living and conscious creation. Here we look at Vedanta and various other spiritual teachings from ancient India to understand the nature of reality and to consciously create our lives. In the first part, let us talk about oneness in all. As we know by now, the Sanatana Dharma and Advaita Vedanta speak about interconnectedness in all beings and about oneness in all. So this is the fundamental principle of Sanatana Dharma. We talk about Vasudeva Kutumbakam. We talk about universal oneness and universal acceptance. Advaita Vedanta also talks about how this universe is an appearance in consciousness. And because of this, every aspect of this universe is an expression of consciousness and is consciousness alone. And gratitude is simply seen as a way to acknowledge this interconnectedness in all beings and in all things. It is looked at as a way to honor that divine force that binds everything and that governs the creation. The ancient Hindu teachings emphasize the concept of runa, which talks about various forms of debt or gratitude. According to the ancient teachings of Hinduism, there are five places to which we need to show gratitude for. And the first is called Devaruna. This is gratitude towards God. God is that dimension which is beyond creation and which is creation at the same time. It is the only reality that truly exists. And it is what is responsible for creation and it is what is the creation. So at first we need to be grateful towards that dimension of existence because of which everything is. And God is also that dimension because of which we are the way we are right now. So we must be grateful for all the things that we have received in life to God and to that divine consciousness. Second is Rishi Runa or the debt towards the Rishis. Rishis are the wise ones. Here we need to be grateful for the wisdom of Sanatana Dharma that has been passed on from generation to generation for thousands of years for us to learn and transform our lives. So we need to be grateful for this knowledge and for the Rishis who made this possible. Third is Pitruruna which is the debt towards our ancestors. Our ancestors are because of whom we are the way we are today and they have given us the gift of life and to this we need to be grateful to them. And fourth is Manushyaruna. This is the debt towards fellow human beings. Now we all are dependent on each other whether we like it or not. Now I am shooting this video in a camera that was manufactured probably in China and I will be uploading this on YouTube which is a platform which was built and which is maintained in the United States by the engineers and by the team who are in that country. And I am sitting in India shooting this video. So to do what I want to do in this life, I am dependent on so many people. This is inevitable. So we need to be grateful for the fellow human beings. Fifth is the debt to the five elements. This is Bhutaruna. Now as per the teachings of Vedanta, the entire universe is the play of the five elements, the Pancha Bhutas. And hence, we need to be grateful to Mother Nature and the five fundamental elements because of which the entire universe itself exists. In the second part of the video, let us talk about the power of bhakti or devotion. Devotion is incomplete without gratitude. So, gratitude is 
the highest form of devotion and by being grateful towards that god towards that pure intelligence towards this universe we can become available to the grace of the divine and we can live a life of fulfillment and there are various rituals pujas practices in vedas that emphasize gratitude even bhagavad gita talks about gratitude and being grateful to life we also need to understand that gratitude is a high frequency emotion if we look at the map of consciousness by david or hawkins gratitude and joy hold a very high place in the map of consciousness and by constantly being in this high vibration of gratitude we will naturally attract a positive life for ourselves and the best outcomes for our life will become naturally available to us and there is a sanskrit saying that goes like this yad bhavam tad bhavati which translates to whatever you feel happens this is very important and i will repeat it here whatever you feel happens so when you are constantly grateful for the things you have and for the things you are yet to receive you will naturally attract more things to be grateful for and this is the subtle concept that we need to grasp and in the third part of the video let us look at the secret principle for conscious creation now think about what we are doing when we are grateful when we are grateful we are naturally in the positive state of mind and when we are grateful for the things we have and for the things we are yet to receive we are actually living in the end and if you have watched our previous video on the teachings of neville goddard you would understand this better in that video i talked about the principle of living in the end this was one of the most important teachings of neville goddard which was the law of assumption if we look at that principle it focuses on individuals being grateful already for the things they do not yet possess and by doing so we are naturally living a fulfilled life and a joyful life we are not craving for something instead we are already grateful for that thing that we are yet to possess this is the secret principle for conscious creation and gratitude can solve many problems when it comes to law of attraction through gratitude we can naturally live joyfully and achieve fulfillment this is the point of life manifesting creating our dream life becomes secondary now let's discuss one simple practice that you can start from today to consciously create your life and to make gratitude a part of your life this is called gratitude journaling and this takes hardly a minute to do at the end of your day at the end of your day when you wish to go to sleep take out a diary and simply note the three things to which you are grateful for this might be anything this might be a certain thing that has happened in your day or you might be grateful for the body you have for the health you have for your spouse for your parents etc just simply note three things about which you are grateful for and then feel that gratitude within yourself and in that positive grateful vibration go to sleep and this will naturally help you live a grateful life and live a joyful life and this will actually help you create a life for which you will be grateful for gratitude is being thankful and it is one of the easiest ways in which we can attract an absolutely fulfilled and abundant life in sanskrit the equivalent word to gratitude is kritanjali which is derived from two words krita meaning done or performed and anjali meaning offering and kritanjali means salutation or offering for something that has been done or received already with a sense of thankfulness and with a sense of reverence so imagine if we could live our lives in a way that we are always in gratitude not only for the things that we have received from that infinite intelligence but also for the things that we are yet to receive this is living in the end and this is the ultimate way to manifest an abundant fulfilled life and also as per the teachings of ancient hinduism the lack of gratitude 
or ungratefulness is said to be the worst sin of all to which there is no excuse and like we discussed earlier showing gratitude to our parents to the devas to the ancient sages who gave us this knowledge to the members of our society and to the environment and our life support system is known as pancha mahayagnas which are the basic framework for the hindu way of life but this is lost in the current society and we must try to bring this back to life as much as possible by simply being grateful for that divine intelligence and that infinite consciousness because of which everything is the way that it is and all that we have received and all that we do is possible hello there if you wish to understand the true nature of reality and learn about consciousness conscious creation and the teachings of the ancient vedanta in order to live your life with purpose achieve fulfillment and consciously create a life that you truly want to live then you can join our community come learning platform the advaita conscious society for more information visit advaita.com thank you